You've been charged for staying dedicated to the grind. You have the right to remain silent and keep the hustle to yourself or help others with the game. State your name for the record. D. Lord James. How you come up with that name? D. Lord James, that's actually my name. Government issue? Government issue for the record. Oh, so where are you from, man? I'm from Los Angeles, California, South Central. So you from Los Angeles, California, and you running around with your government name? Yeah, man, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. It's, it's it means smooth. It's French, actually. Hey, I give it to you, man. That's the first. You know, no man, many people don't run around the streets with the government name. Yeah, man, it's hard it's, to it's do it, man. But everybody know me. Don't I ever snitch on you? Uh, I've been snitched on. Okay. We can talk about that later. I've been snitched on. So, man, um, I've seen a couple of little short films you was in, actor slash comedian. Man, you know what? My real, real thing I love is writing, man. Writing comedy. I love writing comedy. Writing so comedy. I usually just try to transition what I'm writing into, and I just act it out myself. So a lot of stuff you see me doing is just stuff I really be writing for other people or just writing, and I just yeah. do it myself because I'm, I'm all by myself. Baby. But that's kind of funny, too, because I asked you about acting and comedian, and you jumped to writing. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you've been to a whole different lane and That's shit. what I do, man. I love it, man. When you love something, then you can't hide from it. You know what I mean? I understand, man. Because I love to write and then watch it so, so you like to write it down and bring the film and also act it at the same time? It had to be like that because I was writing and stuff and basically I didn't have anybody that was actually filming or anything. Only people that I know that's really filming is Slink. And once we start really messing around with each other, then it was like I wanted to write for everybody else. I really wanted to see me put something on paper and watch somebody else flourish. So because I didn't have anybody to do it, I just did it myself. Yeah, that's I, why I, I really seen, kind of stopped doing it too. I've seen the OG Crip character you have. Man. Oh man, you know that's like, that the only bro you know how to play or um, how to be a blood. Actually, uh, I could do bloods. I could do. <laughs> blood. I'm actually cool with the bloods. I got a, a lot of blood friends. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that what the uh, white people say? I got a lot of blood <laughs> friends. You know what I'm saying? So how long you been into this entertainment world, man? It's been about five years now, bro. Really. In it, I've been about five years, but I've always been a fool, man. So you had that midlife crisis and changed your career when you damn near 50. Uh, if you can call... You should have a car vet, man. Listen, listen. <laughs> if you can call stopping my grind to try to find another grind, um, because I didn't want to go to jail with the first grind, midlife crisis, and yeah. Because okay, I really didn't want to go to the Let's talk about the first grind, man. Who was Daylord oh, James? Daylord James, man. These streets running around with his government. Man, that was a life of crime. I was Can a, you tell us about that time? I keep it real with you, man. I come from a boosting era of the world, bro. I come from a boosting era. Between 1990, 88, and like... 2008, it's a lot of boosting was going on, and I was involved in that. I ain't gonna lie, you know, the statute of limitations is over for that kind of stuff. Yeah, so made, most likely he was out there when the riots happened. They all doing you know, the riots? Like, oh, 92, baby? <laughs> I bought me a, a, a motherfucking wagon, a little, uh, little, little, uh, little wagon and shit, a little Chevrolet wagon and shit, Malibu wagon. I was out there, man, I made a lot of money doing the riots, bro. And, I, and, and the fact that everybody was getting along doing the riots back then, it was just, it, it let you know that we can actually come together as a people. So during your first early years, was you utilizing any kind of writing techniques or something? I was actually writing on buses and writing on walls, if that count. Yeah, That's I the only writing I, I was really doing count, back yeah. then. I ain't gonna lie and to you. not much reading to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I tried to be a rapper. I tried that for a second. That what didn't was your work rap, out. Man? You better not be your government. It was D-Lord, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Creativity was out the window for you. Out the man. window, Jack. You know, it still is, Jack. Oh, D-Lord, baby. It's me, baby. Hey, hey, I understand, man. Uh, so in this entertainment game, man, who have you worked with? Um, Man, I've worked with a lot of people. I've been blessed, bro. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie, I've been blessed. It all comes, stems from Slink Johnson, Black Jesus. He got me in the game. He took me down to ADD. He got in there in December. He said, I'm going to get in there, I'm gonna do what I can do, and then I'm going to see what I can slide you in. Because you're right, man. I'm going to bring you in, and we can do our thing, right? Boom. Come January 7th, he brought me into January 7th, 2014, he brought me into uh, ADD. And from that point on, I just loved it, man. I wrote a, a script right when I walked in the door. I wrote a script within a, two weeks. We shot this script. Me and him starred in it. I just I just grew a love from that, man. And from that point, I worked all depth digital. I worked with Kevin Hart, man. I'm blessed to be on Kevin Hart's uh, app, LOL, LOL Network app. Uh, I played his dad, actually. So that I was could, fun for me. Yeah, I played his dad, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
I did my thing, man, you know, and uh, I work with Ro uh, uh, Romeo. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know about Romeo Holloway, man. He's, he's you know, I think he's the director, man. I interviewed him one oh, Okay, time, yeah, so. yeah. He do his thing. I've been, I done done a gang of stuff with him. You know what I mean? Like, he really do his thing. He really get it done. And then uh, bass power moves, I, I, I mess with him. So um, you're going to say, basically, Slink put you on. Slink put it's me like on. It's like Soldier Boy put all these fuckers on. Man, Slink put, put me on, on, man. Slink put me on, man. He was like, man, I'm going to bring you up there. I and that's, that's pretty cool, man, because most people really don't look out and try to put right, each other on. Right, right, right. They want to be the only of one course, that circles hang. you gather a whole bunch of haters because of that type of thing, so, too. So tell us about the Smoke Yours crew, man. Smoke Yours crew, man. Me and Slink came up that basically from being broke, bro. Being broke, we'd try to beat each other every morning, call each other and say, smoke yours. So whoever said it first, we had to figure it out. So if I called your phone at 645, nigga, and you was just about to call me at 649, I beat you, baby. Smoke yours. You know, you gotta provide a let me see how I could, what I could do. And then if we had to go somewhere else to go smoke theirs, that's what we do. And then we both come near and smoke yours. You know what I mean? So but, basically, y'all can say y'all addicted. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, love, weed. I love weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it was crack, I'm a crackhead. It's me, baby. So basically, if you have to give it up today, you won't be able no, to make that. No, no, I won't give up weed. No, no, I can't give up weed. No, weed is a necessity. Weed heals my body. Weed has me looking as good as I look right now. You know what I'm saying? Nah, look at me, baby. Like, it's me, good. baby. You know. So, so what are you working on now? Um, actually, I'm working on a, a, a series, a mini series called The Bag, man. It's called The Bag, and I've been work, I've been writing on it for about, you know, about a month now. You write some grind face promo in it, like oh writing. yeah, I do that, I do that, I got you, baby. You know, you know me, man. <laughs> I've been messing with you since day one, man. You, you the only person I know that can go from zero follows to four hundred thousand, nigga. <laughs> Fucking twenty four hours, baby. I mean, we could go keep it real. I was like, damn, Andy hey, was, hey. Andy was private. Hey, I'm like, how you private, my nigga? You just they know where to search, man. Man, you get banned four times, they know where to type in grind. Phase. That's dope. That's dope, though. Yeah. Man, keep that grind up too, man. That most, Inspiration yeah. for a So, as your writing techniques, man, are you writing in new characters like to play? Well, um. You know what? I'm actually trying to work on my, my my present characters, like my Donald McRonald, because a lot of people like my Donald McRonald. And to the people out there, I am going to bring back Donald. But I just want him to be right, man. This is With me, it's like I want it to be funny. Plain and simple. That's just it. When, once I finish doing it, if I look at something, it might have took me all day. If it's not funny, I'm not going to put it up if I don't feel like it's funny. But, but it's for the people. You know what I mean? It's always for the people all day long. That's all I do is... It's, I just love. To, I just love to let people. I just love to make people laugh, bro. Real shit. I love to, be, to see people smile. So. So how you feel about playing a gay role? No. Nah, um. Actually, I feel like I can't play gay because I ain't gay. So I feel like a gay role is is more for a gay person. I'm just gonna uh, keep I it gotta real. say, you gotta be gotta be have true acting skills to bring it out, man. So you say your acting is not that high. I can't say that because have you ever seen Denzel Washington play a, a gay role? Um, but his uh, acting yeah, skills are <laughs> so it's possible to show your real acting skills without having to play a gay role. That's all I'm saying. It's yeah, nothing against it. Denzel in there, like, you know what I mean? I'm just keeping yeah. it real. I'm just keeping it real with people that I look up to, and that's so who basically, I look up to. if you had a Hollywood offer to play a gay role, big time mainstream movie, would you recline it? Uh, um. Me saying I decline it depend. I had to read the script, bro, because I want I want to know what you want me to actually do if I feel like I can do it. And so feel it's, comfortable it's levels with it, man. Yeah, certain gay shit. I mean, I would. You know, what I mean, it's just I can't say what I wouldn't 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 do because I have a family too at home. So you know, what I'm saying I gotta feed my family. So but you I, wouldn't sell your soul for the bag. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that because I'm I'm from the streets, bro. When you raised from the street, when you come come through what I've been through in my life and stuff with what I've seen in my life, then that's not an option, you feel me? And if I if I gotta do that to make it and take care of my family, then I just go get me a regular job and just work at McDonald's before I have to do something that I feel like is degrading to myself and to what I believe in. Respect, man. So you're in this entertainment field, what is your ultimate goal? What are you trying to accomplish? Man, at this point, I would love to write a feature film. I wanna write a feature film. I wanna write a film that go I want to see it on the big screen. I want to be at AMC. That's dope. That's dope, man. What any advice would you give the 20-year-old you? 
you know, advice for yourself. <laughs> Don't wait till you my age to try. Uh, 20, that's the best time to do it for sure. At a young age, is the best time to learn because there's so many levels that you can learn in this game to where it don't have to be. You don't have to be the star. You don't have to be the star because then it's the star. Then it's this level. Then it's this. Then it's this. It's, it's more to it than just that one person. You see you see that one soldier boy. It's only one soldier boy, but guess what? Multiple soldier years. boys, it's, it's a whole lot of soldier boys getting paid. Behind no, also, uh, yeah, it's, it's you feel behind me? the scenes get the fetish checks. That's what I'm talking about. So that's why that should be TV. your that should be your kind of goal. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you just if you naturally funny, like I believe I'm naturally funny. You know, I've been always told that all my life, and I I, I make people laugh. So go that way. But if it's not for you, don't force it. If you got to be the cameraman, if you want, I'm about to go to school for photography just so I can have that in my head. You know, just so you just like to learn. So, more have now. you ever did stand up comedy? Um, I've 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 did stand up. I did stand up before, and I did um, hosting basically. Mm -hmm. So I hosted the comedy did show. You so I, had to, I, I, I was. I had fun, man. It was great for me. Um, something I didn't feel like something I you continue to do. Yeah, I love hosting, bro. I love talking. To, I love people, bro. I'm a people person. It's me, baby. It's D Lord, man. I love. I'm smooth, man. I love people. People. Let's talk about money management, man. How do you fund your projects and also maintaining your household? Well, one thing you got to realize: what's most important? Most important is household. So, if you got to maintain your household, yet maybe miss out on something in the street wise or what you might want, you know what I mean? Then household comes first. You know what I mean? So. Whatever I might have left over after taking care of household and stuff, then that can go toward my project. But a lot of my projects recently or have been is is by word of mouth, but just by favors, man. You know, scratch your back, scratch my back, I scratch yours. You know what I mean? Exactly. A lot of our actors that I work with, we all just work together. We like working with each other. We want to work with each other. We want to create because content is the key. So when you have that mentality, when content is the key, then you just build content. So however, whoever wants to be there that day and shoot with me or whatever, the ideas go wrong for sure. So content is going to come out of that day. So if you want to be a part of it, then come be a part of it. Now, that. do your spouse support these ventures? Uh, to a point. To, to a point. point you because can't stay out too late. That, you know what I mean? Promotion-wise, you know, you got to be certain places. You got to be in the club. You got to be in the weed events. You got to be in certain events just to, you know, show your face and rub elbows. See, what a lot of times with your spouse might not understand with rubbing elbows is like one of the most important, con you know, concepts of networking. You know, you have to rub elbows and get in there with the right people, get to know them, exchange some numbers or whatever. So that might have you out to 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. So are you still rubbing elbows with um, nothing but trouble? Um, actually, nothing but trouble. I don't remember that being on the list of kind of questions. Um, I think I need to talk to my lawyer, bro. Oh, I think that. I'm gonna talk to my lawyer before I answer that. that question. You feel me? Because I didn't even know you was gonna even go there, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's not even, I ain't even know you sir, was going sir, here. Sir, sir, can we keep it professional? I'm just saying, cuz you didn't tell me you was gonna ask me none of that shit, my nigga. Grind face.